Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 30th, 2020. And if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the bell button and the like button in order to see our uh, newest videos. You're also welcome to go over to our Patreon, our Patreon channel, in order to sign up for our new signal service. You can find the link in the description below this video. So we'll start out by looking at Netflix. And as you can see, most of these tech stocks had a really nice day today. They had a horrible day yesterday. But today, uh, there was quite a lot of good news about the U.S. economy, which uh, uh, grew 33% in the, uh, in the uh, third quarter. Uh, so that is an enormous growth for the U.S. GDP. However, there are a lot of things that are overshadowing this um, the United States economy. COVID, for example, is basically out of control in, in the United States, in Europe, and in most parts of the world. Cases are now daily around half a million, and that is just way, way, way more than we have uh, experienced the last, uh, well, nine months or nearly a year of this, uh, this crisis. Uh, furthermore, unemployment is still very high and uncertainty for the United States election and what will happen afterwards is also very high. But if you look at Netflix, we can see that we are in a high here of uh, 572. We are in a low here. We can basically write it there. Low here at 467. Today, we rallied 3.7%. We rallied above the 50 moving average, pulled back our training now underneath the 50 moving average. And there is a lot of move, move, uh, movement to the upside. I would not be surprised if uh, Netflix went all the way to, these, to this top. And the reason why I said that is because we are basically at the bottom of this uh, range. The MACD is looking, uh, to basically turning around and will rally um, probably tomorrow or, or, or on Monday's session. The CCI is also turning around, the CASIC is turning around, and so is the Bollinger Band. However, we are trading underneath the 50 moving average. We need a green, a green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to confirm that we are going higher in this market. A break below this will open the door to these previous lows at 480. And uh, we were there today and we rallied afterwards. Uh, but at this point, we need clearance that we are going to go past the 50 moving average before going higher or that we break these lows in order to go lower. So look at Microsoft. Microsoft was up 1% today. We rallied up towards the, 50, the 100 moving average at 208 and then broke down again. Technical indicators for Microsoft stock are looking quite dim. MACD is looking very bearish. The same goes for the RSI, the same goes for the CCI, stochastic. So I wouldn't be surprised if we went down to these lows or at least the 150 moving average at around $198 a share. If we rally from here, rally up from here, then we have the 100 moving average as support at 208. Further, we have the 50 moving average at 213. So there's a lot of resistance above, not a lot of support underneath. So a move towards the 150 moving average is possible, but that is also a very good buying opportunity for the stock. If we look at Apple, Apple rallied up towards the 50 moving average, and now we're still trading underneath the 50 moving average. Technical indicators for Apple are not looking very good, even though we had this rally of 3.7%. MACD is trading under the signal line, the RSI is technically flat, the same goes for the CCI is flat, but the stochastic is looking very dim. Uh, so we are still at the bottom here we are technically crossing the signal line but at this point we need clearance that we have to go and clear the 50 moving average trade above that and then go to these highs first 150 120 50 125 and then to uh, 138 so 
A break below this opens the door to the 100 uh, moving average at $107 a share. Look at Amazon. Amazon up 1.5% today. We broke above the 50 moving average and then gave away those gains again. Um, at this point, it is fairly mixed where we go. We are technically trading sideways and have done that for nearly one and a half week now. FACD is looking negative. The singles for the C RSI, the singles for CCI. Stochastic is a little bit bullish, but uh, we are basically in the middle of the Bollinger Band. So we need a clear signal that we go on a break above the 50 moving average or, um, or break below the 100 moving average in order to go significantly lower. If we look at Tesla, Tesla was up nearly 1% today. We're trading within this range of the highs here of 465 to 56 and 351. We're trading underneath a 40 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are, well, not very good at this point. MACD is looking very negative. Same goes for RSI, same goes CCI, and also the stochastic. So it may well be that we'll just stick around within this area for some time. A break below this opens the door to the $351 range. A break above the 50 moving average opens the door to 456 So Facebook up nearly 5% today. We are getting very close. We got very close to this uh, upper support and resistant area. Broke down from there. Well, it is. We need to break this line in order to go higher. And if we break that line, then we'll go to $302 a share. Technical indicators are, well, they're they're technically, they're okay. They are fairly bullish to MACD. The same goes for RSI. The CCI is slightly flat. The same goes for stochastic is flat. So this is a market that doesn't really, or a stock that doesn't really know where to go from here. Break for up above this trend, uh, this resistant area opens the door to 302. A break below opens the door to 267 and 256. Google rallied today in 3.3%. Uh, 3 .3%. We were way above that at one point. We rallied how far we went all the way. We were nearly 5% up and gave back some of the gains. We didn't get to these highs, uh, but at this point, I don't think we're going to. I think we are actually going to go lower with Google stock. I thought we were going to go lower today after this very grim candlestick here. And the reason for that is the technical indicators for this, uh, for this stock. MACD is turning around, crossing the second line. RSI is flat. There's a lot of room to the downside. CCI is flat. Stochastic is looking horrible. And so is the Bollinger Band. So I technically favor the downside in the stock than the upside. If we break up towards this, uh, this uh, resistant area, that we'll see that as a selling opportunity rather than a buying opportunity. A breakdown below the, the 100 moving average to the 150 moving average is probably the best buying opportunity you'll get for this stock. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the bell button and the like button, and go over to Patreon and join our uh, signal service. Um, good luck and thank you very much.